what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Comedian Leslie Jones recently appeared on The Breakfast Club and she had a whole lot to say about men. A whole lot. What did Leslie say? Well, for starters, she said, women are doing the work, men are not. And she also said, fellas, you ain't gonna like this one. You ain't gonna like this at all. She said, men don't know nothing about P-U-S. Fill in the blank and get your mind out the gutter. Don't know nothing about it. She says, your favorite thing. You don't know nothing about it. She went further. She also said that men don't know how to if you, yeah, don't know how to get down. Don't know how to do it. She talked about her time in New York and the dude was not gonna down and yeah, she's vulgar. Talking about how the dude was not gonna down and you know, he wasn't putting the work in and she was like, you're doing all this and I'm, I think she said, for the Statue of Liberty or something like that. I'm looking at the Statue of Liberty. One of, one of those monuments out there. In any event, what do y'all think about this, fam? Now, when I first started watching it, I had to take it with a grain of salt. I had to look at it for what it was. First and foremost, there is some truth about what she said. The problem with people going on these podcasts and social media platforms and radio stations talking about men or women, they use too much generalizations. So it's much better to say some men many men, some women, many women. You know why? Because you don't know all men and you don't know all women. You don't know most men and you don't know most women. So it's better, and this is not about being politically correct, but it's just about using proper verbiage when you're trying to communicate with people because people will receive it better. Now, I'm sharp enough to know that when she started talking about men don't know nothing about P-U-S-S -S and women uh, are doing the work and men are not doing the work. When she talks about men, uh, thing ain't working and stuff like that, she ain't talking about me. I'm smart enough to know she ain't even talking about me. So, I'm really not offended by her words. She's not talking about me. I'm very good at, if I do something, I'm pretty good at it. Especially if I do it a lot. I am very good because I take pride in what I do. I take pride in everything that I do and I want to win. I want the prize. What is the top prize? I want the trophy everything I do. Yeah, fam. So even if I'm with a woman, my goal is to please that woman. I make sure she get hers first. That's one of the things that fellas should practice. Make sure, and this is game, right? I should be charging y'all at least a couple thousand dollars for this game right here. A piece. If a man makes sure a woman gets hers first, if you focus on that, you'll be all right. You will be all right. I wasn't really offended about what she said because I didn't take it personally. But the language that she used did make me wonder why people were so quick to accept the language she used and not the language that Sexy Red used. Because if you put Sexy Red's language in a joke format, she's saying the exact same thing and she's behaving the exact same way 
that Leslie Jones was. Leslie Jones was going off. She was foul. She was vile. She was raunchy, vulgar, totally unladylike. And I was checking out the comments and probably 99.9% .9 of the women in the comments were, go Leslie, go Leslie, that's right. Can y'all explain that? I can't figure it out. Anyway, she was talking about how some of these men are having, experiencing trauma. They experiencing trauma all the way back to childhood and they're wondering why their thing don't work, you know? She associated mental health with that thing not working. And she's actually right. She's right. Because men have to be right here. I know. I do. I got to be right here. Psychologically, everything got to be straight. I got to have my mind right to have that thing right, for that thing to be right. I'm not, I don't just, you know, I'm not a robot. I got to feel it. I got to be feeling it, right? So when I'm going through it, if I got stuff going on or whatever, if I know my money ain't right and I'm trying to get on my paper, you know, I'm grinding, I ain't really thinking about women like that. I'm not trying to do all of that. Now, I know for some of you guys, that's hard to believe because all y'all think about is sex. Y'all can't get y'all mind on nothing else. So I get it. I get it. But, you know, that ain't me. Even when I was broke, that was not me. I can't count the times where a girl called my house and because I was busy writing, even if I was writing, i tell her, call me back or i unplug the phone. I would always take care of my business first before I would do anything, any of that extracurricular stuff. And women can understand what I'm saying because a lot of women operate that way. A lot of women, it's business, they business first. Hey, I get to you, you know, I like you, you know, I cut for you, whatever. I know what you need. I know I gotta help you, you know, help you out over here and fulfill those obligations that you got or whatever. But first, I gotta handle this business. That's how I am. I handle that business first. That's right. I said it. But what say you? Do you feel that Leslie Jones have a point about women doing the work and men not doing the work? About men not knowing anything about the vagina? Men not knowing how to work the D? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the haters talking about?